Before we head inside, there's a few important things you need to know when you're deciding on which kind of camper to get. This is a trail behind. It's a travel trailer that you pull behind another vehicle. Uh, important to know is what the capacity of the vehicle is that you are uh, towing with. So I wanted to show you that as well as some of the storage here. All the way through, you can put uh, fishing rods. This also has a power leveler, also power power hitch and all right over here. Um, it has a few details in it that the others don't have. Uh, again, right here is the most important is the unloaded vehicle weight is 5,653 pounds. So you should add 1,500 pounds to that just to be safe that whatever vehicle you're towing is, um, is fit for it. Comes with all the accoutrements that you need. That's the uh, hot water bleed tank, the black tank. They have simple um, uh, levels right here that you switch and turn so you don't have to get under. Come this way. This one has a nice slide out and I'll show you inside. It also has an outdoor shower. So if you're coming from the beach or something, your kids can wash off before they track it all over. And um, uh, this is your cable hookup. Camping is fun, and uh, if you've never been, we have 31 different campsites in this area alone. And so we have a lot of uh, service calls that we actually go right to the campsite and fix it if it's a problem that you can't bring it here, okay? Spare tire. Just, you never really have to go up the ladder, but it's a 300-pound capacity on that ladder. This has an outdoor uh, area that you can put a refrigerator. And uh, we got the awnings out. Have a nice cold drink. Now we're going to go inside and see. Again, this is the floor plan for the Volante 25RL, which is rear living. They all have uh, different codes. And the first two numbers are usually the size, how, how many feet the trailer is. So this is a 25-foot trailer from one side to the other. You add three and a half feet to it for the uh, tow package and the bumper. Refrigerator, full size there. Uh, nice. This has a stove as well as an oven. Lots of storage here. Uh, a lot of concern is, if do you have enough room for storage? Well, take a look at this. If you open all these, and over here too, pantry, incredible storage in this one. Like all of these trailers, the table here converts into a bed as well. They can sleep two small kids. Uh, again, the storage, and this one also has a microwave here and an outdoor refrigerator as well that we saw outside. Um, and not to mention the wonderful reclining chairs and uh, nice, nice view of outside. I could just see if you were right here in the water right outside. The TV is right behind you, the TV mount, and all the Volantes have the, um, the fireplace here, too, that in the winter puts out a great deal of heat. It does have a heating system as well, but that will put out enough heat for the entire trailer. Follow me. All the controls, too, are right here. We did the awning out. It's a simple push button, and boom, you're done. You have windows on both sides so you can get nice air ventilation on really beautiful nights. It also has on the Volante, it tends, you have shelving up top with more storage. Also a nice little compartment there in case you have like a CPAC machine or something. And uh, there's plugs inside of there and also right there. Up underneath, we have uh, extra storage. In fact, You'd be surprised at some of these that I'll show you where the storage is. You would not believe it. So this one has a nice bigger bathroom than some uh, where you can actually stand up and spread out. And as well, the uh, toilet is porcelain toilet. It's not just one of those plastic ones. It has cabinets right here in the bathroom, which is a big deal uh, on, on the other. Some of the other ones do not have that, but the Volante has extra cabinets storage fireplace and uh, beautiful awning most of the time we're spending outdoors so has a nice awning and 
We hope you uh, come on in and check it out.